Dear viewers, welcome back to our channel. In the field of new energy vehicles, the West's abandonment contrasted with China's leading position has triggered contemplation. The intertwining of environmental protection, energy transition, and technological innovation highlights the promising prospects of new energy vehicles. However, why are Western companies giving up on electric cars? Have they perceived hidden risks and uncertainties in this field, or are there other considerations? In contrast, where does China's achievement stem from? Does this significant difference underscore the uncertainty in global new energy vehicle development? Does the West's retreat imply failure in this field or a shift towards more challenging domains? What challenges will the future of new energy vehicles face? How should we tackle infrastructure development, legal regulations, and public awareness? Is the future of new energy vehicles bright or fraught with risks? China leads while the West retreats? New energy vehicles, powered by renewable energy, are environmentally friendly and efficient. However, renowned global automotive companies such as Apple, Ford, and Volkswagen are abandoning electric cars and turning to other innovative fields. This shift has raised widespread attention and confusion. Are they abandoning electric cars due to perceived risks, or are there other strategic considerations? Meanwhile, China has made significant achievements in the new energy vehicle sector, not only dominating the domestic market but also successfully entering the international market, becoming a global leader in new energy vehicles. What underlying factors hide behind this contrast between China and the West in the development of new energy vehicles? The development of new energy vehicles is driven by various factors. Firstly, as global climate change and environmental pollution worsen, people's awareness of reducing carbon emissions and protecting the ecosystem is increasing. Compared to traditional vehicles, new energy vehicles can significantly reduce exhaust emissions, alleviate environmental burdens, and align with the concept of sustainable development. Secondly, global energy consumption continues to grow, traditional fossil fuels are increasingly unable to meet demand, and they face the risk of resource depletion. New energy vehicles utilize renewable energy sources such as electricity, solar power, and hydrogen, which can effectively alleviate energy crises, enhance energy security and efficiency. Furthermore, with technological advancement, people's demands for car performance and experience are increasing. New energy vehicles have more innovations in intelligence, digitization, and networking, meeting the needs and expectations of future cars. Based on these needs, the market size and technological level of new energy vehicles continue to increase. Global new energy vehicle sales reached 2.2 million units in 2019, accounting for 2.5% of total sales. It is estimated to increase to 28% by 2030 and 58% by 2050. Among environmental protection, energy transition, and technological innovation, which factor is the most critical for the development of new energy vehicles? New energy vehicles continue to innovate and optimize. They are now divided into two categories, electric vehicles and hydrogen-powered vehicles. Electric vehicles use batteries as power sources, driven by motors, including pure electric and hybrid vehicles. Hydrogen-powered vehicles use hydrogen as fuel, driven by fuel cells. Electric vehicles have low-cost, long-range, and convenient charging, but they suffer from heavy battery weight, small capacity, short lifespan, and difficult recycling. Hydrogen-powered vehicles are zero-emission, highly efficient, and quick to refuel, but they have high costs, poor safety, and storage challenges. Major automotive companies are striving to address these issues, aiming to make breakthroughs in batteries, motors, fuel cells, etc., to improve the performance and reliability of new energy vehicles. In the future, how do we overcome the challenges facing new energy vehicle technology to ensure its continuous development and broader application? In the development of new energy vehicles, China and the West have divergent attitudes and actions. 
China actively promotes the development of new energy vehicles, while the West gradually slows down or even abandons research and production of new energy vehicles. Why is this so? For China, the development of new energy vehicles is in line with national strategy and public interests. China is the world's largest automobile market and producer, as well as the largest energy consumer and carbon emitter. Therefore, China has enormous motivation and responsibility to promote the development of new energy vehicles, achieve energy transition and environmental protection goals. Faced with the development of new energy vehicles, how should the West and other countries respond to ensure global sustainable development? To achieve this goal, the Chinese government has implemented a series of policies and measures to encourage and support the research and production of new energy vehicles, including providing financial subsidies, tax exemptions, priority license issuance, and building charging stations. At the same time, the Chinese government has strengthened restrictions and regulations on traditional vehicles, such as raising fuel vehicle emission standards, implementing purchase and usage restrictions. These policies greatly stimulate the demand and technological progress of the new energy vehicle market. According to statistics, in 2019, China's new energy vehicle sales reached 1.2 million units, accounting for 55% of global new energy vehicle sales, ranking first in the world. China also has numerous new energy vehicle companies, such as BYD, NIO, Xpeng, etc., some of which have entered the international market and compete with Tesla, etc. However, for the West, the development of new energy vehicles faces more difficulties and challenges. The West is the most developed region in the world and the birthplace and leader of the automotive industry. Faced with the rapid rise of China's new energy vehicle industry, should the West reconsider its development strategy and take measures to maintain competitiveness? In the field of new energy vehicles, Western automotive companies encounter numerous obstacles and perplexities. Firstly, there is insufficient market demand. Compared to China, Western consumers have a lower acceptance of new energy vehicles, they are more accustomed to traditional fuel vehicles and have doubts about the performance and safety of new energy vehicles. Secondly, there is a weak awareness of environmental protection. Compared to Chinese consumers, Western consumers pay more attention to the comfort and personalization of cars and have less strong environmental awareness. Therefore, compared to China, the market demand for new energy vehicles in the West is smaller. Regarding the development of new energy vehicles, will the insufficient environmental awareness of Western consumers affect the future direction of the automotive market? Western automotive companies lack technological innovation in the field of new energy vehicles. Although they have accumulated rich experience and have high technological levels and brand reputations in the traditional automotive industry, this also means they lack the courage to invest in new energy vehicle research and development. They prefer to maintain traditional technologies rather than invest in new energy vehicles. Therefore, compared to China, their technological level in new energy vehicles is much lower. Should Western automotive companies be more actively investing in new energy vehicle technology to adapt to the growing trend of environmental demands in the future? Western automotive companies face increasing competitive pressure in the field of new energy vehicles. They not only compete with China but also face competition from countries and regions such as Japan, South Korea, and India. These regions have unique advantages and innovations in the field of new energy vehicles, especially in batteries, motors, fuel cells, etc. Therefore, compared to China, the market share of new energy vehicles in the West will significantly shrink. Can Western automotive companies maintain competitiveness in fierce competition, or do they need to change strategies to cope with the challenges of the new energy vehicle market? In summary, Western automotive companies' choice to retreat and abandon the field of new energy vehicles is mainly due to the enormous challenges and dilemmas they face in market demand, technological innovation, and competitive pressure. They
may consider the development of new energy vehicles more as a burden and risk than an opportunity and profit. They may be more inclined to invest their energy and resources in innovation in other fields, such as artificial intelligence, autonomous driving, and shared mobility, to seek new growth points and competitive advantages. Can Western automotive companies continue to maintain their leading position in the automotive industry after abandoning the field of new energy vehicles? Or should they reassess the opportunities and challenges brought by the new energy vehicle market? Finally, I summarize today's video, hoping it brings you some inspiration and value. The Future Development and Challenges of New Energy Vehicles From the current situation, the development of new energy vehicles is an irreversible trend. With the progress of technology and changes in society, people's demand and expectations for new energy vehicles will only increase. The market size and technological level of new energy vehicles will also continue to rise. The development of new energy vehicles will bring about significant changes and impacts on human travel and life. However, the development of new energy vehicles is not without challenges. In the future, new energy vehicles will face many challenges and problems, such as infrastructure construction. The popularization of new energy vehicles requires the support of sound infrastructure, such as charging piles, refueling stations, and maintenance stations. The construction of these infrastructures requires substantial investment and technological input, as well as unified standards and regulated management. Currently, there are significant disparities and deficiencies in the construction of infrastructure in various countries and regions worldwide requiring accelerated and strengthened efforts. The formulation of laws and regulations. The development of new energy vehicles requires corresponding legal protections, such as laws and regulations on the safety, quality, emissions, and recycling of new energy vehicles. The formulation of these laws and regulations requires sufficient research and demonstration, as well as fair and reasonable principles and standards. Currently, there are significant differences and lack of uniformity in the formulation of laws and regulations in various countries and regions worldwide, requiring coordination and improvement. Raising Public Awareness The development of new energy vehicles requires broad public support and participation, such as public awareness of new energy vehicles' cognition, acceptance, usage, and promotion. The improvement of this public awareness requires effective publicity and education, as well as active incentives and guidance. Currently, there is considerable room and potential for improvement in this area worldwide, requiring strengthening and expansion. In conclusion, the development of new energy vehicles is a global revolution and challenge that requires the joint efforts and cooperation of all countries and regions worldwide. As a leader in new energy vehicles, China should continue to maintain its advantages and innovations while actively engaging in exchanges and cooperation with other countries and regions, jointly promoting the development of new energy vehicles, and creating a better future for human travel and life. Welcome to share your thoughts in the comments. Today's video ends here, see you next time. Goodbye.